Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've been able to sit here and actually film a freaking YouTube video. But we're here and we've made it and honestly, so much has changed since the last time that I was able to talk to you guys. If you noticed, there's a change in scenery. I took the jump and I moved to Los Angeles, California. I honestly needed a change from Virginia and honestly, the jump back from Philadelphia to Virginia was such a big culture shock for me. Especially my parents and I, we moved out to the country. And when I mean the country, those people were literally making tea in buckets in the sun. Sun tea, have you ever heard of it? It was wild, but honestly, I just miss the city and I really wanted to be somewhere that I can prioritize content creation. I had recently got a job when I was in Virginia and unfortunately I felt like I was prioritizing that job and other responsibilities over content creation, which is what I primarily wanted to do. So me making this jump to Los Angeles was not only for my sanity and for the fact that I missed living in a big city, it was also to be in a place that I could prioritize this. Somewhere that I could be in the midst of the influencer world. There are so many other people out here making beauty content and there's also the brands out here. There's gonna be brand events and stuff and I just wanted to be in a place where all of that is happening rather than feeling so detached from it all, which is how I felt when I was in Virginia. So we're here, we're excited. It's very new, it's very fresh, but I'm excited overall. I do have a big giveaway coming up. I want to thank you all for sticking around and being here through all of this like commotion that's happening in my life. I really appreciate all the love and constant support that you give me. So in the next video, I do wanna do a massive giveaway. I was gonna do it in this video, but I need some time to prepare your boxes and stuff. And there's gonna be multiple winners too, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And this video, because it's been so long, I have so many new favorites that I wanna share with you all. There's a few skincare products, but we're primarily going to focus on makeup because I feel like my makeup journey is developing and I'm so happy because of it. I've noticed a lot of changes when it comes to me and the way that I do my makeup or even the products that I choose to do my makeup with. It's changing, it's developing, we're learning, and I'm learning to love a lot of different and new types of products. So with all that being said, go ahead and grab a snack, grab your soda, let's get into it. I also hope that you all see me pumping out content. And if you don't, I need you to hold me accountable because that right there, this, the pull is strong. I'm still lazy and I just wanna sleep. Okay, I just wanna sleep. So first we are gonna talk about two skincare products, but I actually use these for the base of my makeup as well. So they're not just moisturizers, but they're also primers in a sense. So these are the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Soothing Repair Moisturizer. Technically this is the day one and technically this is the night one, but for the most part, I feel like the night one is just a little bit thicker. These are so beautiful. They are some of the best moisturizers I have ever tried. And I feel like I have not seen these in stores before because La Roche-Posay, they do have a big line, especially in Target and Ulta. They have a lot of great options, but I have never seen these moisturizers. I've only seen like the double repair moisturizer, I think it is. And y'all, we're missing out because these are fantastic. I think these are the best moisturizers that they have. They are so lightweight, they are so elegant, and they are soothing and repairing and great for sensitive skin. There's actually not much in these, which is one of the reasons why I love them. So when I moved from Virginia to Los Angeles, I noticed a lot of changes in my skin, primarily the dryness of my skin. I already have somewhat dry skin, but when I moved here, my skin got extremely dry. All the congestion and the clogged pores that I had in my nose, completely gone. The atmosphere, your environment, the weather, all of that takes a toll on your skin. So I saw some big changes. I wanted to really simplify my routine just in case my skin was going to freak out and become sensitized from something. And I also wanted to add a thicker moisturizer, especially in the daytime. And this is what I picked up and I'm so thankful that I picked these two. These are going to soothe, repair, and just maintain that skin barrier, which I feel like we all need to prioritize. On top of them just being amazing moisturizers, I also tend to use these for the base of my makeup. They are such a beautiful cream and I feel like it makes the perfect base. I also just wanna say these are very thick and very emollient moisturizers, but they are so elegant as well and they soak into the skin really beautifully. I think if you have oily skin, you might wanna stray away from these during the daytime, but if you use these as your night cream, oh my God, your skin's gonna love it. Fragrance-free, they have that thermal water, which La Roche-Posay is known for. It's just fantastic. Great, great moisturizers. Now let's get into the actual makeup. I have fallen in love with the foundation. I'm deleting myself from all the apps, the Tinder, the Bumbles. We're done with those because I found the love of my life and it is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is so good. This went viral on TikTok and it is 1000% worth the hype. So I have mine in the shade Santa Fe, which is M2. Now I feel like this is a tad bit too dark, but I can make it work. It's what I have on my skin right now. It is such a lightweight, dewy, beautiful foundation. If you don't like the dewy
dewy look, you're not gonna like this. But still, why don't we like the dewy look? I don't understand. It gives you a healthy, beautiful, youthful look to the skin. It is a medium coverage foundation, but I do find it to be somewhat buildable. It comes with about 36 shades, I believe, which is for the most part, a good shade range. I do find that NARS products tend to run a little bit yellow. So just keep that in mind when picking out a foundation shade. And also on that note, these are sold out everywhere. You go into an Ulta or Sephora and these are wiped clean, honey. I was so surprised to find my shade in stores because they are wiped out completely. And every single time you go over to the NARS selection, the Ulta or Sephora employee will come up to you and they're like, I know, I'm so sorry. We're working on it, we're getting them. Even they know that these are such a hot product right now. I tend to use a beauty blender when blending this out, but my friend Amira over on TikTok, she says to blend this out with your fingers first prior to your beauty blender. And what that does is it kind of like melts the product into your skin with the warmth of your fingers. So it's a little messy for me and my beard, but when I've tried it, oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. It is the most stunning finish. She does it constantly and her base makeup is always beautiful. It's fantastic. So definitely try that out when picking this up. Let's talk about a concealer that I've been loving. Now this is one that actually my friend Rudy gave to me when I was visiting her in Nashville. I'm gonna say this is the product that's getting me more into concealers. I've tried a few more after I've tried this one and I feel like I like them. I'm getting into concealers and this was the one that did for me because this is such a beautiful, really easy to work with product. Now again, this is the Armani Luminous Silk and I believe this one is in the shade four. And I feel like this is a really good match. It's somewhat brightening because it is a little bit lighter than my complexion. I feel like it blends out beautifully and sometimes I can get away without setting this. Now I have very hooded eyes, so sometimes I do get a lot of creases around my eyes. Not with this one, not with this one. So this one is medium coverage, so I feel like it's perfect under the eyes and also blemishes as well. This hides my dark circles really, really well. I do find this is buildable too, but I just don't like to put a lot of concealer under my eyes because again, that creasing and I don't want it to look cakey. It's pretty hydrating and I feel like it works fantastic with my dry skin. Now you all know I do like myself a dewy finish. I really, really like the Say concealers, but these ones are very, very dewy, super hydrating, super lightweight. These ones are ultimately pretty good, but I tend to like this one because it's not so radiant like the Say ones. The Say ones are a little too radiant. I feel like I'm getting to the point where I don't want all of my products to be dewy and this one's still a little bit dewy, but this one is such a beautiful natural finish. I do have it under my eyes right now. I just love it. I use it every single day. It also just makes me feel classy the fact that I'm using a Giorgio Armani concealer. The packaging is also super pretty. I don't know if you can see like the cylinder of this kind of like twist a little bit. It's like a little longer here and then like longer the other way. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. It's beautiful and it's my favorite concealer right now. I'm embarrassed to show you this product because I made it all nasty. This is the Tarte Bronzer. Rudy also gave me this when I went to Nashville. Now we'll just show you what it looks like. It looks gross because of the brush that I'm using. So this is such a beautiful bronzer. I use it every single day. It's really, really warm. It's definitely pigmented, but if you can see the brush that I'm using, all the bristles comes out like when I put it in the pan. It's kind of gross and I do need a new way to apply this, but I love, love, love this bronzer. It's super easy to work with and it really warms up the skin beautifully. It is a cream bronzer and I feel like for the most part I can get away without setting this, but on really hot days, this and the rest of my makeup obviously it wipes away. They do only have the one shade of this, which I find to be kind of silly, kind of ridiculous at this point. I mean, if you're coming out with makeup products, whether it's a bronzer, or blush, foundation, concealer, whatever. If you only have the one shade, it's not gonna work for everybody, so you need to improve that. It's a great bronzer, it's my absolute favorite, but you need to come out with more shades, okay? This is what the bronzer looks like. It is absolutely stunning, super easy to blend, both with a brush and a beauty blender. It's just beautiful. It adds the perfect warmth to your skin and it just sculpts the face so beautifully. Fantastic, but Tarte, drop some more shades, please. Miss Kat Von D. Actually, it's not Kat Von D anymore. I don't remember what KVD stands for. I'm not really positive, but I do know that she's no longer with the company and KVD stands for something else, not Kat Von D. If you know, drop it in the comments. This is their contour gel and this one's in the lightest shade. I believe it's in the shade Fair Cool. I picked this one up because I saw in stores that it was a true cool toned contour. I really wanted to practice with sculpting my face and I really wanted to play around with shadows. And a lot of times I do use bronzer as contour. Pretty much the same, but I do find that those are just warm tones and I wanted to play around with something that was cool tone to see how I can really play around with sculpting my face. And this is a true cool tone. Now I do feel I feel like the other ones in store looked a little bit warm, but this one was a beautiful, beautiful, cool tone brown. I got my sponge so I can show you how easily this blends out. It is so 
beautiful. Some people say that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, but I haven't tried that one. But look how beautifully and easily it blended out. You're never gonna get those harsh marks. I do put this right on the face and then blend it out that way. So you're never gonna get that like stuck like spot of contour. Sometimes when you put product straight to the skin, it's sometimes hard to blend it out. This one blends so easily, you'll never have to worry about that. The most beautiful contour that I've ever tried. Now let's talk about blush. Now I could sit here and talk about the Say blushes or the Honest Beauty blush or the Tower 28 one, but how many times have we done that before? You all know I love that one, but let me show you one that I used today, which is the one that I have on my cheeks. It's by Evio Beauty. It is the Velvet Color Stick, and it's in the shade Where You Can. It's what I have on my skin today, and it's so beautiful. It's a true bomb consistency. They have four shades that all looked absolutely beautiful, but what really appealed to me was this really, really dark color. I love finding new blushes that are kind of scary in the tube, but when you put them on the skin, they're so beautiful. I love seeing the transformation from like pan to skin. This was so easy to blend. Now, what we talked about a little bit before with the KVD contour gel, how you can just put that on the skin. I am sometimes weary of that just because I am afraid that it's not going to blend easy and it's going to ruin your whole makeup look. So today when I used it, I did grab an angled blush brush and I took it and I just went straight on the stick and then applied it that way. Now it blended so easily. I'm sure it's fine if you just put it straight on the skin, but I was just doing that just to be safe. But look at that color. That color is so beautiful. Let me see if I can show you just how easily that blends out. It was stunning. And this has a dewy finish to it, which I truly love. As you all know, I think it's somewhat buildable and it's going to sit on the skin really beautifully. Isn't that beautiful? Love, love this product. I will 1000% be purchasing their other three colors. Okay, so we are pretty much wrapping up at this point. I want to share with you one more product. This is something that I got off of the recommendation from Miss Laura Lee. This is such a beautiful lip oil. Now, I think at this point, you probably all know that I am obsessed with lip oils. I love my Dior one. I love my House Labs one. The Ulta Beauty one is amazing. I like the Item Beauty one. But this one is one that nobody is talking about and I think it's absolutely fantastic. This is by Lunar Beauty, which is Manny Amiway's brand. This one is in the flavor watermelon. They do have mango and peach, I believe. But first of all, just look at the packaging. Do you see how beautiful that is? This is a non-pigmented lip oil. Again, this one is in the shade or flavor watermelon. If you're a big thing, oh my God, also this smells delicious. But if you're a big thing about lip oils is that you don't want them to be sticky like a gloss, that's where this one comes into play. The Dior one is still a little bit sticky. It is. Some people don't like that. Other people do. The Milani one is a little bit sticky. The House Labs one is a little less sticky, I think, but this one is not sticky whatsoever. So if you really want to try lip oil, but you don't like that sticky feeling, try this one. It stays a while. It has that blurring effect that the Dior one has. Again, it tastes phenomenal. I also like my lip oils, just plain old lip oils. I don't need the plumping effects. I don't need the color. Sometimes I just want that beautiful sheen. And I also am someone that likes the taste of them. So the Dior ones do not have a taste whatsoever. And I do feel like something that expensive and the fact that it's Dior, I wanted like the overall experience of it. And there is an experience of using that one, like the big dope applicator that I love. Some of them have a tint to them. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful, but I do feel like I was kind of missing the taste and that's what this gives me. Delicious, delicious, delicious. If you've tried the mango or the peach one, let me know. I'm kind of leaning towards the peach one next, but the watermelon one is absolutely delicious. All right, so that is it for some new favorites for you all. There is definitely more to come. I have tons of videos planned for you and I'm so excited to pump out this content. If you have any videos that you want to see from me, please leave it down in the comments. I will gladly get to them. I'm totally going to need ideas. We just have a lot of content to come, not only here on YouTube, but also TikTok and Instagram as well. I will leave my handles here and also down in the description box. Along with my handles, all these products are also going to be listed down in the description box as well. Before you head out, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also like this video. If you want to be notified every time I upload a brand new video, make sure to hit that bell notification as well. Reminder that next video, there will be a massive giveaway. So be sure to tune in for that video that's coming next week. And until next time, I don't know, do what you want to do. Go watch some more of my videos, okay? I will have some linked somewhere around the screen and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.